Hello everyone, my name is Don Angelito and today I'm making another a brand new commentary video. And today I'm going to be talking about Metal Gear Solid, the Master Collection for the Nintendo Switch. And the HD Collection that I also have for my PlayStation Vita and PS3. So, today I'm going to show you guys something that I want to talk about between the HD Collection that, that was already out for the PlayStation Vita. And the new Master, Metal Gear Collection for the Master Collection. And here is also my game collection of Metal Gear Solid the Legacy Collection for the PS3. Which came with Metal Gear Solid, uh, Guns of the Patriots, and as well the other games that's also already part of the collection. Which you get Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, Sons of Liberty, Snake Eater, and you also get Metal Gear Solid 2 as well for the both graphic novel movies. <clears throat> Now, the difference between the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection that Metal Gear Solid Master Collection has is you get the strategy guide, you get a also the soundtrack that you also get, and you get additional goodies. The Metal Gear uh, Solid, the Legacy Collection, you get Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3, and 4, the two uh, Metal Gear 1 and 2, and you get the two graphic novel movies. As for the Nintendo Switch Collection... You get Metal Gear Solid 1, Integral, and the UK version. You also get three different versions of Metal Gear Solid VR missions. The US, UK, and the Japanese version, which is bundled with Integra. You also get Metal, three versions of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, the US, the UK, with the Extreme European difficulty, and the Japanese version. You also have Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, Sons of Liberty, and you also get the Metal Gear and Metal Gear so uh, Metal Solid Snake. Now, the only addition to what you will get with this Master Collection for the Nintendo Switch is that you're also going to be getting the original NES versions of the games for Metal Gear. And not to mention, you also will have the graphic novel movies, but you also will have a 23 soundtrack for the entirety of the master collections of music. Now, down here is my PlayStation Vita. We have here is a few different games. I have the HD collection that I have digitally, but I don't have the physical version. I also have Metal Gear VR Missions and Peace Walker. Peace Walker didn't came with the master collections, but most hopefully it might come out with... The Master Collection Volume 2. <clears throat> On top of my Nintendo Switch, you're going to see the game selection, which I have Metal Gear and Metal Gear uh, Snake's Revenge, which are the NES version. Down here, you're going to have the video selection, which is the digital graphic novels, which did took a while to download, but it took three hours for me to install everything and all the updates, all the language pack, the movies... And all the updates for Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2, and Metal Gear 3. And then you also have the digital soundtrack right here. You get all these. And then if you also get the day one edition, you get three additional bonus tracks. Let's see. Uh, and then you have one icon here that is just for the retro Metal Gear games. That's what they will be on. And that's what basically you're going to have. Now, for the Nintendo Switch version and the Metal Gear Master Collection and overall, you're going to have something different. You're going to have a game guide, which it tells you for those who are struggling within the game and how to get to your next objective if you don't know. The game will, will provide you information and inf that you want to do. For example, let's go here to the Master Book on here. So you go here, it says, spoiler alert, uh, the book reference content for the Metal Gear series. We recommend reading this after you complete each game to avoid spoiling your experience. If you go on here, it will tell you on um, sections for the game. Oh, I forgot how to use this. Oops, give me a second. I'm having some technical difficulties. Just want to know how to use the... There we go. So, as you, when you go in, you can just zoom some of the buttons to zoom in so you can read everything. And it will tell you some information on where to go to and what the dialogue is going to be. There we go. So, I have to press the left 
trigger here. So, so for you, it will tell you where basically where to go, and it'll tell you in the explanation of Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two. Gives you all the information of all the characters, and where maybe a little backstory of everything what happened throughout the entire mission of the game. When you play uh, some of the games, you also are going to have an additional, for example, in Metal Gear Solid, when you do boot up Metal Gear Solid, you're going to have the option to bring back the cover of the game <clears throat> while you're playing. Now, there is an issue with the Master Collection on the Nintendo Switch, and I want to address that. When you start playing... Metal Gear Solid on the physical version of the game when you get the cartridge. The only games that you'll be able to play directly from the cartridge it's Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge, and the other one for the MSX as well. <clears throat> for to play Metal Gear Solid 1, you will have to update the game in order for you to have access to it. And you also have to uninstall the update for Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and Snake Eater in order for you to play. You won't be able to play, run it off directly from the cartridge even though you are able to direct. Konami should have done it directly from the cartridge. But I feel that Konami should take an L on that. But as the aspect of the collection, it's a great and solid collection. If you are a true Metal Gear Solid fan... This is, you appreciate this. This is Kojima's work. Kojima has made a lot of great games over the past few years. And this is what I'm also referring to. You have this additional option where you have an online, where you get to see and view the back. If you want to see also for, to zoom in to see Meryl's codec. But you also have this option for the retro games where you also get in. You have an additional information that you load in. It tells you how for the controls, code and save weapons and self techniques if you have issues. There's briefings and information options, specials and VR trainings and other and additional informations that those who want to, to know. There are many different things. But I also want to show you guys the difference between Metal Gear and for the, for the Switch and the PlayStation Vita. What I want to show you guys is how quickly both of the games can boot up. So what I'm going to do, I have to run through some menu in for on the menu for the Switch in order to start up Snake Eater. You you will see what I mean. Even though the UI is a little helpful. Uh, it, it's a lot that you have to go through. You have to go to the, press the game selection. And then you have to say like which version of the game you want to play. There's like North America version, European version, and Japanese version. And then you have to pick the language and then you start up the game. But on the PlayStation Vita, you can just press start and press X on it. <clears throat> now, I do heard that on the PlayStation side, the games will be able to run off directly off from the disc. The only thing that you guys have to do is just update the game. That's it. But if you want to play it directly off from the uh, from the disc, you you you're, you're go ahead. You just play it without having to worry to updating it. So I'm just waiting for both of the games to start up. Uh, the Vita's taking a little bit. So I'm just gonna set up for you go. And see which one actually how quickly they boot up. Start up randomly. We know I already have a file. And let's just make it randomly here. Don't really care for Mitch. Oh. Now, do I have any contradiction about what I what I feel about this collection? Do I think it's worth it for the play uh for the Nintendo Switch? Yes, <clears throat> and I want to address a couple of the, the pros and cons. Now, the full total size that you're going to need for your Nintendo Switch on your memory card for your SD card, you're going to need 66 gigabytes. That's everything. 
But if you don't want to install the movies, that's fine. You you the basic that you need to install is a 32 gigabyte. But if you want to have everything have everything saved on your SD card where you don't have to worry about downloading everything else, I would recommend that. The is there any audio, any issue with the audio? What I think my in my personal opinion where there's there's a small area for both Metal Gear Solid 1 where it cuts out the audio and the reason is that because remember Metal Gear Solid 1 was originally a PlayStation 1 game the when they explain to you on the play, on the Nintendo Switch it's to explain to you which is the action button remember the action button on the PlayStation 1 was circle but in order for they they don't have a dialogue where it tells you to press the action button which is A so there won't be any dialogue to explain to you which is one is the uh, for the action button for the Nintendo Switch version, and I'm not sure if the Xbox has that issue because I don't have an Xbox version, but I'm pretty sure that they have for the Master Collection for the Legacy Collection on the Xbox 360. I'm sure that that was already addressed. I know on the PlayStation side that's already been done, but for, as for the Nintendo Switch version. It's a little different. Now, for the explaining it for you to use on the controls for Snake Eater, that's not an issue because Snake Eater was also was available on the 3DS. Which now that the 3DS eShop has been closed down, Snake Eater is one of those games that is more considered rare, and you won't be able to find it. The only thing that I would take bad about the Master Collection on the Switch is that everything should have been able to have been read, readable directly from the cartridge. <clears throat> Having five different icons, I believe it should have been under one icon. Just have it called Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. Just have everything all together in one icon. You just get on, select the game that you want to play, and that's it. You have five different icons, which you have to update for each icon. So, if I were to show you the actual, uh, let, actually, matter of fact, let me show you the data, how much it is for the Nintendo Switch, for Metal Gear. Now, for the one that has the, all the movies, you're going to need 24.3 gigabytes. For Snake Eater, you're going to need 17.5 gigabytes. For Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 12.2 gigabytes. Sons of Liberty, 12 gigabytes. And let me see if I can find Metal Gear and Metal Gear Solid 2, you're going to need 200 megabytes. For a full total of 66 gigabytes in total. Now, I want to mention this before I end my video. The Master Collection as a whole on the Nintendo Switch, it's great. It's great to play on the go. Now, I want to address something. Uh, and I don't mind if I get criticism. Each, each person is has their own opinion of this. The Switch Lite, the frame rate has a steady 30 frames per second. But it will only run on 720p. I don't have an issue with when it comes to resolution size to play a game. I know on the other consoles I hear that you're also only able to play only on 720. Resolution size shouldn't bother people. Because you're playing the game to experience a great story content that has been provided. I would rather to play a game that has a good story and not care about frame rates and graphics. Developers will do will work day and night to fix the game. We shouldn't be too critical and bashing publishers because if they want to work so hard, because remember they have to work on the PlayStation 4 version, the PS5 version, the Xbox One version, Xbox Series S and X, and the Nintendo Switch version. And I don't think people should publish uh, should take harsh on Konami on their part. Because remember, they had to remake this game, even though all the assets was there. But remember, 
in order for you to do some redo some of the scenes and some of the mechanics so that we can run on the specific consoles, you shouldn't bash on them. Just be patient. As of right now, on December, I don't know what, uh, what month, I think we're in December 28th. Thank you to my wife that just reminded me the date. The game is running fine. There's no issues on the Nintendo Switch version that from what I can see. There's no issues. There's, it, it, I read some of the patch notes. There were some issues that they were addressing. And I guess there were some people that were having some issues. But as of now, there's no more issues. That Not that I can see. So, I would rate Metal Gear Solid and Master Collection a eight out of t an 8 out of 10. The only drawback that I would give it instead from giving a perfect score is that I wish I can just play uh, play the games directly from the cartridge and not have so much a memory size to download that will take so much space off of my SD card. As for everything else that the game does provide with so much content, I believe is it's worth it. For the price that you're paying for, it's worth it. But this is my opinion. I wanted to share you guys my thoughts of Metal Gear Solid 1, the Volume 1 collection. And between what the Vita will look like, it just looks exactly the same. You're just playing a an HD collection. This one was originally from the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's not much of it, but it is worth it. A lot of people never had a chance to play the original Metal Gear. Not everybody can afford to get a PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 2 to play these old games. When I heard that they were bringing the Japanese version, I was really ex extremely excited because I wanted to play the uh, Japanese version, even if it's just emulated. Overall, I think this is a great content that is just providing for us by Konami. And I can't wait for them to release Volume 2. There are more games that I am looking for. I hope they bring Metal Gear Solid Acid, Peace Walker, Guns of the Patriots. I'm not sure if they will also bring the Phantom Pain to the Switch, but that would be pretty interesting to, to see in the future. Whatever plans Konami is doing, I I hope so. If, it, if the Volume 2 collection comes out next year, I don't know. I don't really look into it but I am fairly happy with this collection and I wish all those people who were criticizing it so much because of the file size that you can't play directly from the cartridge I understand from where you guys are coming from but at the same time there's so much work that these developers have to work day in and day out, 24-7. And sometimes they, they don't get to spend time with their family because they're trying to provide us the game that they like were enjoying to making this. But that doesn't give Konami the excuse for some bad decisions they have made. This is Don Angelito. And thank you for you guys for your time and listening to me on my honest opinion on Metal Gear Solid Master Collections. I really wish I can show you guys more of the game. But unfortunately, I only have the Switch Lite. I would love to be able to record gameplays. But I choose the Nintendo Switch version over my PS4 because my PS4, well, my hard drive likes to corrupt a lot. At least on here on my, on my Switch, I don't have that issue. I don't use my Vita as much as I used to because I play Pokemon and other games on my Switch. So this is Don Angelito, and I would like to say thank you for all of you who tuned into my video. And this is just my honest opinion on Metal Gear. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Thank you. What a fear in my heart, but you're so supreme.